All right, we are here cage side at the UFC Hall of Fame induction ceremony in Vegas. It's fight week, and it isn't fight week or a Hall of Fame induction ceremony without the Iceman Chuck Liddell, because let's face it, anything in this sport that talks about how greatness occurred and how we got to where we are today, the conversation cannot be had without this guy. Chuck, it's always good to see you, man. You were on my radio show a while back over the phone. You were on a family vacation. Here you are at fight week, though. I love talking to guys like you when you come back and you're around everybody. You, you get to see all your old friends. Hawaii. You were in Hawaii, yeah. yeah. You were doing the TV show. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 We were talking about your funny. TV show. Yeah, yep. that's awesome. Yep. Yeah, I so. remember that because I was doing it from the, I think I was doing it from the deck, trying, yeah. to, trying to get, get it quiet in there. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about your TV career. I, I saw your Entourage episode, the first one. Yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> the that the was other night that was on again, the one where you had drama in the cage. Oh, that was awesome. And seeing Jeremy here the other night hosting the World MMA Awards, and I just was going through those seasons again, and you know that show never gets old. Oh, right. that, that, that show actually was, yeah, I had a long like a long line long lines in that and uh i did, my manager didn't even he thought i didn't have that many lines so he didn't tell me <laughs> i actually ran into um one of the guys on the show and, and he's like um have you looked at your lines yet i said no so oh you got a lot of lines <laughs> i was like wait, wait, wait a minute okay um and yeah it, it, but i'm glad he said something because it would have been tough with uh if he hadn't given me that uh Give me that heads up that I gotta, gotta stuck. You know, I don't do lines for a living. So you so. earn the card. That, you yeah, you yeah. earn the card with that one. But that was a good episode. And, yeah. you know, right in your wheelhouse. And you've been doing a lot of TV stuff for a long time. But, man, did you ever really think you were going to come back and fight again? I talked to Tito a couple nights ago. It's it's good to see you guys running it back because I think I said to him, you guys would be 90 years old in a nursing home beating the crap out of each other, you know, if they let you. Yeah, you know, that's that's probably true. I mean, I, I, I'm never going to get tired of hitting him in the head. So, yeah, he, he, you know, he keeps, he got, he got me excited again. He got me uh, fired up to fight. So uh, here I am. It's one of those things where there's Tito and Chuck, you know, I mean, everybody has Ali had Foreman and, and Frazier and guys like that. You guys will always be remembered together, like it or not, because of those great wars and all the talking he did in the times that you were able to close his mouth for him. But this time, what's going to be different under the Golden Boy banner? Obviously, a few years have gone by, but you see it the same way, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I see, I've seen his last fights. I've seen his mitt work, actually, recently. And if that's all he's got for me, he's in a lot of trouble. In a lot of trouble. I, I haven't slipped that much. That's what he's saying. Yeah, he's hoping. He's still trying to convince himself he can beat me. I, I mean, I, I've seen his interviews. I've seen his, seen his talk. And a lot of it has to do with him trying to convince himself that he can beat me. Well, there you have it right from the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. Real quick, everybody's telling me I need to hurry up with you. But who do you have this weekend, Steve A or DC? Okay, we've gone through this a few times. Um, uh, you know, look, it's it's gonna be a t tough night. It's gonna be tough. DC needs to get on top. and needs to get him tired because if if when T DC tends to gas near the end of his fights, and if he's if Stepe still got got his power when when he gasses, it's gonna be a lot of trouble for him. A lot of trouble for DC if that happens late in the fight. The Iceman's been in a lot of these fights himself. Good to see you back at Fight Week. Enjoy it, man. Oh, thank you very much. All right, and we'll be watching when you take on Tito Ortiz, number three coming up, the Iceman and Tito. It's Cage Side Seat. We're live in Vegas at the UFC Hall of Fame induction ceremony.